Kevin Sinfield, folks, I would imagine he's completed his 7 in 7 in 7 earlier today. I think he went off early this morning and within about four hours, he'll be done. I've not heard any reports, but I'm sure he would have completed it. If he'd have been off his feet for the last five miles, he'd have crawled home. So he'll be done, no doubt about that. I've mentioned him a few times on here, folks, and the heroic things he's doing on behalf of his pal Rob Burrow for the MND um, community and for the research into it. And I think what he's done is absolutely admirable. I've said it time and again. I've voiced an opinion that he should be knighted time and again. Um, I still hope it's something that they do and they do it this year. If anybody deserves it in Great Britain at this moment in time, it's Kevin Sinfield. He's done brilliant. But just I've got a, just a quick story for you. Not that many will see this, but I'll air it anyway. Um, Sinfield, always a great rugby league player. Fantastic rugby league player, many looked up to. I had a pal of mine, an old pal of mine that used to play rugby league professionally a few years ago now. be over 10 years ago, I think, we had this conversation. It might have been 10, 12, 14, I'm not sure how many. A good while ago. I happened to say to him one day, while well, I was talking to him about players that I've enjoyed watching, the greats that I've seen in my time, be the Mozzie or uh, British, and the ones that really got me off my seat or got me on my feet, the ones that I really like, the ones that really entertain me. And went through a few names and so on and so forth, and... Uh, from various teams and various countries and I happened to say to him I said who's the best player you've ever played with or against he said and straight away absolutely no thought about it at all Kevin Sinfield and he took me back I said Kevin Sinfield he said oh aye now this guy was a great British Britain international like Sinfield he played with Sinfield and I said all oh, right I said I'm surprised because he was probably three four five years before Sinfield retired he'd always been a great player and he was well a good player I just thought of him as very good and very steady but I probably didn't watch him a lot on the TV, on the TV. probably only more so when my team played Leeds. Um, and for all he was very good, the odd sort of, the odd superstar in that Leeds team, like Burrow himself, you know, Burrow would turn on the magic, whereas Sinfield was more, you're steady, Eddie, very steady, very reliable, never let you down, always turned up, always gave 100%, and probably always an 8.5 to 9.5 out of 10, to be honest with you. All the characteristics that's just seen him do seven in seven in seven. Sadly, surprised he's doing what he's doing based on how he performed on the rugby field. But I never thought of Sinfield as a will beater. And this guy was telling me, he said, Oh, he said, I think he's as good as any Aussie I've seen or played against. And this guy had played against some really, really top Aussies. And he said, I just think Sinfield's brilliant, an absolute genius. He said, Honestly, he does things that you don't see, that you don't recognise. But when you play with him and you you're part of that squad training with him and playing with him on a weekly basis. He said, he is phenomenal. And I'd always remembered that. And it's only a couple of days ago it, it, it came back to mind. I mean, I'd never forgotten it. But I thought, isn't it funny Sinfield's doing all this now? And this fellow international was telling me about, what, 10, 12, 14 years ago? I don't know what it was, about how great Sinfield was. And it's weird. Right at the end of his career, these last three or four years after this guy told me that, it was at a time when more and more people were giving Sinfield massive, massive plaudits. For all there was some superstars about in our game at that time, o over here and over in Australia, many people were bigging up Sinfield at that time, whereas they hadn't previously as much as they had after this guy told me. And I th just thought it was strange, because he told me that, and then over the next few years before Sinfield retired, he was somebody that everyone was on about. He was on the, uh, the, the thing at everybody's lips. It was strange. But anyway, Kevin... Absolutely well done, my old uh, friend. Well done. Not that you're a friend. I don't know you. You don't know me. But I've watched you, I've followed you, I've supported you throughout on everything that you've done. And I think you're an absolute absolute phenom phenomenon. I do, honestly. I can't say it, but I think it. And as I say, if you don't get a night of this year, never mind any old year for that matter, if you don't get one this year, it's a travesty. Honestly, it really is. If there's anybody in this country who deserves a night of more this year than Kevin Sinfield, then I don't know who or she is. And you'd have to hold a really, really good argument on behalf of anybody else to show me that they're more worthy of, a, a, of an honour like that than Kevin Sinfield. You would, honestly. You'd have to really talk up a good argument. Anyway, well done, Mr Sinfield.